Hello, beautiful people. And this, of course, is the Burn On Vlog. I'm Will Ogburn. I'm Trip White. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about what we got going on, and then uh, we'll do the news. So if you checked out our YouTube page within the past couple days, you probably noticed a, uh, a random junior journalism video in there. You're probably thinking to yourself, well, I don't know anything about junior journalism. I thought these guys were, were at least over 18. Oh my god, I think you're like the best player ever. Do you think you're the best player ever? Yes. What we did is we were making a tutorial for upcoming aspiring journalists in the Orlando area for one of our good friends Adrian Beecher with the Skyboat. You can pretty much say we're heroes. But we're really excited about some of the videos that we have coming up or at least planned out for the next few weeks. We've got longboarding coming out. We've also got uh, motocross and the kind of pre-planning in the works. Moto? Moto. we got some Moto news coming up you for you Moto news. But Will, I gotta ask, why in the euphoric Euphrates are your hands wrapped up right now? <laughs> I don't know if y'all noticed in the junior journalism video, but I'm looking like a, a boxer right now. And the story is a lot less cool than it should be. Uh, I'm training at the jungle with a guy, Karinga, you know, the scare and the mohawk for my videos. And uh, I brought Trip along, I was like, hey man, let me show you how we do it in the jungle. About the second exercise, we were doing bear crawls, and I just completely busted it. There was like slow motion you on, and there was music in the background. There was like, oh, 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 oh. Maybe that was just in my mind. It was like, I stood up, and my legs wouldn't stop moving. I was like, whoa. Just lost his balance, and then slipped, and then tried to catch himself, and his palms were just completely skinned off. And then I also got attacked by nature last night. I'm trying to take a picture of some majestic egrets, I think. Whatever those Wawa birds are, you've seen them. Because there's no light, we can't move the camera too much. He kind of just set his tripod down and then I guess took a knee in an anthill next to a, a bog where frogs were just having an orgy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what light. those frogs were doing. I didn't want to be a part of it. It was a really scary time. I just wanted to get home, rewrap my hands. So this morning I was doing my normal Google crawling on my phone and I found what should be the world's most favorite new athlete. His name's Takuya Aizumi. Ooh, white people point some money. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. He's a Japanese boxer, and he made the best troll face ever. His face looks like if you took every troll face from like 2000 till now, put them in a blender, and just put them on like a real human's face. He looks like a really, really quickly recalled new Mr. Potato Head. Well. About sports at Robert Morris. You probably think about them knocking out Kentucky in the NIT. Yeah. Well, this isn't even really the same Robert Morris, but I have some kind of sports related news. Is this the one in Chicago? Yes, the other Robert Morris's cousin. But they are now offering an esports or a, as we would call it, video game scholarship that sets up this dystopian future where we can be like Wally and just kind of sit back in our chairs, receive our education, and maybe, just maybe, women will have sex with them because of it. If you shake their hands hard enough and your thumbs are just freaking like on steroids, then you might. I wonder if there's gonna be like a doping scandal where like uh, they just ban people having IVs or Red Bull and like taking steroid injections on their thumbs or they're just like Aah! I think the uh, times of jocks pretty much scoffing at technology and being like, oh well, you know, these guys over there are nerds. That's pretty much gonna go down the wayside and there are actually gonna be more people like, uh, well, us. Who do you think does the graphics for ESPN? The game in question is League of Legends. Now, that's a game I've never really understood. Here's why. For me, if it's an MMO, man, you gotta be out in the wilderness wandering around killing wild boar that drop, like, chain link shoulder pads for no freaking reason. League of Legends is pretty much like a Call of Duty version of an MMO, which I'm not crazy about because I just feel like it takes away some of the mystique of just wandering by yourself and the loneliness of being a gamer. I mean, where's the time to get lost? There's no time to starve, you just fight! <laughs> in a standard MMO, Trip would be wandering through the forest for at least a week and a half. I got lost in Lotro <laughs> for at least three weeks, I didn't know what was going on. Alright guys, as we mentioned earlier, we definitely got some fun stuff coming up, so uh, stay tuned and burn on! Hello, my name is Derek LeBlanc, I've been here for the past like three years. I grew up water skiing, slalom skiing. 